Nej. Nej. <laughs> I know, no balloons or clowns. Yeah. I just wanted to take a picture of you guys, because, uh, well, this is my office and this is quite cool, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, I'm good. Okay, so I'm going to talk about punk. Um, I, I'm punk, or I was a punk, um, I don't know which way you say it, but um, I, when I was a kid, I grew up listening to punk music. I don't necessarily listen to punk music so much anymore, but uh, I think it's very much what I grew up on. Now, when you think about punk, you probably think about that and punks look like that they do that and that's kind of all punks are all about I mean I don't look like that and I definitely haven't done that so hopefully you're already changing your minds about what punks might do I'm going to tell you about an aspect of punk and that's uh, an aspect uh, or scene that's called straight edge uh, straight edge is very much a massive uh, section of punk but it's a section of punk that's named hardcore punk rock and straight edge hardcore punk rock is, uh, is kind of the name of it and this This is the kind of classic thing that happened when I was growing up. That's probably in the sky. Um, it's quite big in the UK, although you probably have never heard of it, or if you have, I'm very glad. But it's, uh, it's, it's very strong in very small pockets. There's a lot, a lot of it in Sheffield and Leeds, and a lot of it in Nottingham, and definitely a lot of it in London, as you can probably imagine. But there is also a small bit of it in York. Um, so this is me. I, I, used to, I used to play the drums in a band called... Uh, and that was in. <laughs> and if you don't even say I'm right at the back, right back. Uh, playing on the drums there. And um, we were a straight edge hardcore band. Now, I'm going to have to tell you about straight edge because you don't know what it means. Um, that's me as a, a little lad. Uh, straight edge hardcore means uh, you abstain from alcohol, from cigarettes, from drugs, from, um, um, from promiscuous sex, and some different variations. It was all started by a guy called Ian McKay. That's Ian McKay right there. He was in a and Fret and Minor Fret started the scene straight edge, although obviously you know teetotals and kind of things were still around at the time. He did it uh, with his man Minor Fret as a way of, kind of stepping back from fitting in with people. And obviously, very well with punks, they don't like to, uh, to adhere to everyone else. And this was another way of kind of not adhering to the punks that were around in the day, the crusty punks that I show you the pictures of. Uh, this would be a, a a normal post that you would see for a straight edge hardcore kind of scene is uh, getting away from, from alcohol was probably the main thing in drugs. Um, and this, this created quite a very positive vibe. But the reason why it's called straight edge and the reason the X's came around, um, it's quite a ironic story, but when you would go to a hardcore show, a hardcore punk show, uh, they would necessarily be an all age, all age show. They wouldn't necessarily be over 18s or, or for the older audiences, they would be for younger people. And so if you're under 18 or under 21 in America, they would put X on your drink. Oh, no, you can't. So the straight edge scene adopted this and they would wear X's on their hands constantly. Uh, and this started the whole straight edge and, and, and kind of developed massively into like the whole scene how people call themselves. So other bands like Project X came around and they were, if in, in essence they were a joke band to start with, actually grew massively because of their um, inane, uh, very strict way of saying to people that they don't drink. Uh, there are also extremes. This band called Earth Crisis would, we would call them militant straight edge bands, and they would go into like life and veganism as well. And that would be another strand of it, and and it kind of grew and grew and grew, and it actually became quite a massive thing. Like this, this is quite a massive part of, of being straight edge. People would get so absorbed by it that they would think of nothing else and tattoo their face uh, with stupid bands' names on them. <laughs> Um, it has also kind of got into other cultures. This is a, a wrestler called uh, CM Punk, and he's in the, the WWE or w, what WWF used to be, or the WCW. And he's also straight edge, and he kind of like transcends that uh, message of straight edge towards that. And 
it's kind of a, a healthy living, but in an energetic way. I'm talking about English uh, UK straight edge hardcore, uh, which is seen as dying out a little bit. It's kind of developed now, and people aren't really shouting about it. There aren't in bands that say, "Oh, I'm straight edge." They're just quietly straight edge, but in punk bands. So you're thinking, well, what's the difference between a straight edge person and someone who's teetotal? I mean, they're, they're pretty much the same. They don't drink, they don't smoke. Um, but I mean, we also quite regularly would be called. Uh, Mum's boys. Uh, <laughs> because we would also, like, they were thinking on the natural high and all that kind of thing. I mean, the one thing that we did say to any of those people that would say, like, oh, your mum's boys, or oh, why don't you just drink, stop, you know, being a pussy or whatever, we'd say, well, it, whether or not we are or not, we probably did have a massively better time than a lot of people who were being sick on the floor and stuff. And this is what, what we would do on a Saturday night. Um, so there, that's, that's straight edge, I call punk.